Good morning. Higher costs to renew your passport. The 176th Grand National takes place on Saturday. The Good morning. Meanwhile, a historic moment for British basketball. But in parts of the south and west, we'll hang on to a bit more cloud and some murky conditions, but it's going to be warmer than yesterday. I'll have all the details later in the programme. Good morning. It's Thursday the 11th of April. Thank you. 30 minutes past seven is the time now. Archaeology and unveiling of remains can still be a very, very special time. I mean, I think we associate it with things from the past, don't we, of archaeologists and those great discoveries, but that can still happen to this day. I think it's always exciting. And now, um, a largely, large, something which is largely preserved under a blanket of volcanic ash, we're taking you to Pompeii, it's going to offer a snapshot of Roman life, a unique one, frozen in time at the moment it was buried. Yes, even after all the discoveries have been made there, there are still many hidden secrets. And a recent excavation of a previously undiscovered part of the city has revealed some remarkable new finds. Our science editor, Rebecca Morell, has this explanation. With Mount Vesuvius looming, 2,000 years after being lost to a volcanic eruption, a new part of Pompeii is emerging in the biggest excavation in a generation. And what they're finding is spectacular. After lying buried for so long, a room from a sumptuous house appears. And beneath the volcanic debris, a mosaic floor. With rare full-height frescoes, this vivid room, a place to entertain guests, once looked out onto a garden. On the ground lies the roof, which collapsed during the eruption. When we excavate an environment, when we excavate, we wonder what we're looking at. Much like a theatre stage, good at filling in the gaps, telling the story of the missing cast. Emerging. This internal courtyard gives you an idea of just how far down the team has had to dig. This whole... With a mist of water, another part of the residence comes to light. So they were on the ceiling, yes. so you'd look up... Yeah, and very, you'd very high. A painted plasterwork from an upper floor with intricate detail. Uh, only some fragments, but uh, their houses, their objects. For this reason, Pompeii is unique. This area here in red is the grand residence with these large opulent rooms. There's a laundry over here in green and next to that a wholesale bakery. And the archaeologists here think that this whole thing could have been owned by the same person. Our greatest clue of all, uh, it's a red painted uh, inscription on the wall and we know who ARV is and we know him to be Aulus Rustius Verus. Archaeologists say there's nowhere else quite like Pompeii. It's a particular kind of archaeology where you can find something that remained preserved directly from the Roman Empire to now, to now, to the modern age, without no history in the middle. Offering us a new window into the city and the people who lived here. Well, we can show you something rather exclusive uh, with our science editor, Rebecca Morell, who is in Pompeii. Rebecca, good morning to you. Tell us where you are. Yes, good morning. I do have quite a treat for you. I am standing in the Black Room, a room that has been hidden for 2,000 years. And you are the first people in the world, other than the people who excavated this, to see it. It's extraordinary. Now, who better to show us around than the director of Pompeii, Dr. Gabriel Zouk Triggle? I mean, this is a stunning room here. Absolutely beautiful. It's surprising because it's so big, so we can imagine lots of people coming here to have dining parties in the evening. It's a banqueting room. Now, we're going to look at some of the artwork. Let's, let's come and take a look at this, because you have these huge black walls and then these beautiful, intricate little paintings here. What's, what's this one showing? The detail's the, extraordinary. They actually wrote it. You can read uh, in Greek, actually, Alexandros, which is another name for Paris, the Trojan prince, and Helen, so the most beautiful woman of Greece. And the two escape together, they fall in love. Also, he's Trojan, she's Greek, so it's a bit like Romeo and Juliet. A romance. And, and the... start the Trojan War. 
Now, the question is, I mean, I can see why you're calling it the black room. You know, these huge rooms all painted black. But why on earth is it black? Everything else is so colourful here in Pompeii. Actually, we know from ancient writers that in, in order to avoid that you could see the smoke of the lamps in the evening on the walls, they just painted the walls black, so they uh, avoided the whole problem. Now, it's a very chic decoration scheme because I cannot get my eyes off of the floor as well. All of these beautiful, tiny mosaic tiles. I mean... And it's, it's original. It, we found it like this, so it has not been restored yet. And almost... I mean, it does seem almost entirely intact. I mean, tell us a bit about what this room would have been for. I mean, this is a wealthy person's house. What, like, who'd have been in here? What would have been going on? Well, the Romans um, didn't have restaurants, only for the kind of the very basic lower classes. And so they invited people to their homes for, you know, having fun, but also for doing campaigning at home, for doing politics, for doing business. And here, I think at least 20, 30 people could find place and have lavish evening parties. I mean, you can almost imagine it. Now, I'm just going to come over here and we're going to have another quick look. I mean, there's, it's all of these beautiful little scenes from myths. But I think one of the things that's really interesting here is you've got the opulent. You've got these people here having these marvellous meals. But there's a darker side to life here as, as well. So just behind here is a little corridor. But and there's it's, another corridor. It, it's like the third of antiquity we don't look at so often. There's a corridor which is painted like this room for the guests to arrive. And there's another corridor on the other side which is not painted, very uh, shabby. And it leads to the kitchen where the slaves and slave workers would work and prepare the meals and bring them here. And nobody of the people coming here as guests would ever go there. So it was not necessary for them to paint it, to decorate it. I mean, that is just the tale of Pompeii, isn't it? You know, a third of the people here were owned by someone else. Which is a guess, of course. We don't really know. But what we see in Pompeii is everywhere the traces of uh, slavery, of exploitation. We see okay. the, the, the brothel of Pompeii, the mills where people worked under un, really unhuman conditions. Uh, Gabriel uh, Zuckertriegel, thank you so much. And thank you for showing us the black room to the world for the very first time. I hope you like it. I, I mean, I do. It's amazing. It's a fabulous place. It is, it is absolutely fascinating. And thank you for sort of showing us around there. Who would have thought? Thank you very much. Um, who would have thought that, you know, we all, and that flooring, and she revealed the flooring, and it was perfectly intact. Everyone's like, wow. The... the pictures on the wall, mm -hmm. they almost look like they've been superimposed, you know, or put on later, because they're just so clear, aren't they? And the colours are so clear in it as well. Uh, there's a new three-part documentary, Pompeii, The New Dig, which begins on Monday, BBC Two, at 9pm. You can find out more. Time now is 7.23. As we move on into Saturday, we'll come south as we go through the ensuing couple of days. An offer to, so nobody can ever say that the weather is dull. Charlie and Naga. It's not dull, is it, Carol? Thank Never. you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. <laughs> now, largely preserved between, beneath a blanket of volcanic ash, Pompeii offers a snapshot of Roman life, frozen in time at the moment it was buried. But the ancient site still has many hidden secrets, and a recent excavation of a previously undiscovered part of the city has revealed some remarkable new finds. Our science editor, Rebecca Morell, has had a look. With Mount Vesuvius looming, 2,000 years after being lost to a volcanic eruption, a new part of Pompeii is emerging in the band the people who lived here. We, we can... love looking around this place, don't we? We like From it. From a distance. We like it. But can you imagine if you were the science editor for the BBC and you got to be there and see this? Rebecca Morrell, good morning to you. We have been seeing you as we were watching that film. We were seeing you as well. And you're like... Um, I don't know, a happy person who loves jelly in a big vat of jelly. Yeah, I mean, basically, it's, it's, it's been a very tough gig to come here, actually. I mean, it's just such an extraordinary place. And actually, I, what we're showing you now, the black room, this remarkable room, I mean, you have to imagine, this has been buried for 2,000 years. No one else in the world, apart from the archaeologists who've unearthed this, has seen this until 
today. I mean, you're setting eyes on something truly new from so long ago. And I'm joined by Sophie Hay, who's an archaeologist at Pompeii, who's going to show us around. I mean, it is a stunning space, isn't yeah, it? It's fantastic. And, and it's a real privilege to be sort of standing in amongst the walls because you get a real sense of the grandeur and the scale of this room. Um, it's, it's really impressive. Now, I love it in here because you've got these fantastic black stark walls and then these small, intricate paintings. They're quite little, aren't they? They are, they are. This is um, Apollo um, consulting his priestess, uh, Cassandra. And you say they're small and they are, but I think... Um, what I kind of would like to believe is that the, the, because this la uh, room is kind of uh, lit by oil lamps, the flickering light of the oil lamp will probably animate these a little bit and, and sort of they'll appear a bit more as if they're dancing. So they'll catch the eye a lot more than as we see it today. And there's a reason why this room is black isn't it it's not just a color scheme but this was a room used in the evening yeah so this is a winter dining room and it's set so that it gets the light um, from the sort of setting sun and you have to imagine that there's a sort of this is, has to be an entertaining room it's enormous and so there's a sort of boisterous conversation uh, they could be lying on couches dining so this is really much sort of a entertainment area party room i mean it is a yes. party room. the thing i like here as well a lot are these white very plain mosaic floors so in Pompeii you have a lot of these elaborate ones but this is so plain but it's so pretty it is um we this is a sort of sea of white i think there's there's three million little white tessera that went into making this floor all hand laid um, and what we have to think is that this white floor actually helps reflect any light. So in the winter, when you've got less light, this will help illuminate the room. So it's functional um, as well as pretty. Very clever, these Romans. Now, another artwork which is catching my eye here. I love this. I think the thing I particularly love about it, though, is the dog. I mean, it's, it's, look at its face. It's Absolutely, no, it's fantastic. It's, I, I love the fact that it's sort of breaking that fourth wall and, and staring out at you and getting eye contact. And that, for us, I think, gives us a real connection with these pieces of artwork, too. We feel, we feel drawn in. And, uh, yeah, his face. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, slightly disproving look, actually, <laughs> looking down on the partying scene. Now, th there is a dark side to Rome as well, very briefly. I mean... Behind here, you'd have had slaves. Yeah, so people dining here, these are the wealthy people uh, in Pompeii, but served obviously by slaves, and they're hidden um, behind this wall. They come out with platters of food to, to feed the elite. Thank you very much, Sophie, for that. So there you see it, the sort of the opulent and the oppressed too. I mean, they had everything in Pompeii, but it's, I mean, it is such a stunning room here. It's so beautiful and, you know, such stark decoration too. You're used to so much colour here, but there is something about these very black walls, this very white floor and these exquisite paintings. I mean, it's, it's truly remarkable to have a chance to have a look around. And I hope you've enjoyed having a look at it too. The first people to see it after so many years lying buried. Absolutely, Rebecca. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you to all the people there for allowing us in for a first look. It's been fascinating. New three-part documentary, Pompeii, The New Dig, starting next Monday on Boobs 2 at 9pm. We'll be back shortly with the headlines.